to worship the Lord like you mean it. Begin to pray to God. Has the Lord been good to you? Has the Lord been good to you? As we continue in worship, begin to pray to God in the language that you know best. of communication cry if it means you cry to God cry to God if that's how you communicate to God begin to cry to God if you can only speak in your mother tongue begin to pray in your mother tongue God hears God hears your prayers so let's continue to watch and pray for well, that is what we are doing now. Has the Lord guided you? Has the Lord lifted you up from the den and lifted you up to higher ground? Then begin praying like you mean it. How, how you know how you worship God the best. You just come from saying that when we worship and praise the Lord things break. Vitus you happen. So this is your time to actually worship God. Be it in tongues. Be it in your mother tongue. Be it in crying. For crying is a form of worship. You cry to your God. So if crying is what you know how to do do it. If clapping is how you know, those claps break chains. So begin clapping for God hears our prayers. Our hands are instruments of worship. If it's lifting your hands up to Jehovah, lift your hands and pray to him for he hears you. Seek the Lord in all ways. Is kneeling your form of worship. Kneel now. Don't care about who is next to you. Kneel now and worship God. For in worship, things are broken. In worship, all those strongholds that have come again is to break. to say he hears your heart when you're in form of when you're lamenting he hears your heart when you don't know what to say to God he hears your heart just ask him to to search your heart and hear what you feel is coming to 
God, when you start praying and you find yourself, you do not know what to pray about. Adore him then. Adore God by telling him you love him. By telling him there is none like him. The Lord has been faithful to you. You may not know how, but he has. For God deserves our praise and our worship. Anastahili Sifa Zetu. The prayers we are doing is a form of worship. So let's continue worshiping God in prayer. You may not know how to pray. Ask God to teach you how to pray. It's a matter of God, teach me how to pray. Go back to Astahili. I want us to go back to Astahili. Thanksgiving, our hearts are filled with joy. 
So this is our prayer that as you are giving thanks right now, may your heart be filled with joy. May joy be your portion. If you're sad, may joy be your portion. If something is causing you to feel anger, may joy be your portion right now. Heavenly Father, we adore you this morning. We lift up our hands in surrender, knowing that we have drawn, we've, we've done our own things that were not according to your will. We've, we've hurt people around us, we've hurt our friends, we've hurt even those we claim we love, Lord. Lord, we lift our hands to you, O oh Lord, in, in surrender, seeing that you are our God. Father, we thank you for you have heard of our prayers this morning. We thank you that you have embraced our cry that even as we continue with our day and even our week, Lord, if we cry to you, you always promise to embrace and hear of our prayer. Lord, crying is, is us surrendering to you to take charge, to take charge of everything that we have. Is it our business, our bodies? <laughs> Take charge of our mind. Take charge of our health. Anyone that is ailing or any family member affiliated to anyone in this house this morning and they are ailing. Father, we speak healing for you take charge of our health, Lord. Mental health has been an issue, Lord. We find ourselves breaking down randomly. Yet, Lord, when we come to you, you take charge of our mind. Take charge of our mind. Control our mind. That, that which the world claims, yes, I struggle. Lord, we denounce. We do not struggle from such things like mental health. But we are strong, Lord. For when we are in God, we do not we do not embrace such things. Father, you have been good to us. We may not know when and how and at what moment, but Lord, we stand to testify that you have been good to us. And this is our thanksgiving, Lord. Thank you, Abba, for guiding us, walking with us as his own, as individuals, guiding us through our lives, throughout the whole of August and now into September, halfway done. You have guided us, Lord. And the reason we call you our guide is because when we pray to you, even in the... In the weakest form of worship, you still hear us and you guide our steps, Lord. We adore you above. We love you, King of all glory. And Lord, as we continue to worship in the service, Lord, speak to us, Lord. Speak to each and everyone, anyone who needs to feel loved, love on them, God. If anyone who feels who needs a hug, hug on them, God, because we know you can hug us, Lord. Anyone who is worried, assure them. Let's not be waiting for men to assure us, because God assures us every now and then. Everyone who is, anyone who is seeking healing, Lord, this is, 
the time, release your healing upon them. We've been taught to embrace pain, but Lord, this is your time. Release all your healing upon the person who is ill. If someone had broken this morning, embrace them and assure them, overwhelm them with your love, Lord. Father, we adore you and we give you praise this morning for you have been good. You hear all our prayers as we continue to watch and pray. You listen and hear us, Lord. Father, we thank you and we adore you this morning. It is in Jesus' name we, pray, we believe and pray. In Jesus' name we believe and pray. Amen. Let me hear you shout to Jesus. No, 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 no. No. So let's start this again. Sawa. Iyo ni yako na ya neiba yako na labda yangu. So let's do this again. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do this again. Give the Lord a mighty shout. Bless you, King. We join in that song one more time. And if you're there, you're still desperate, come. Naku hitaji mesia. Naku hitaji. Cry in desperation. This is the cry of our hearts. With God, Akuna Mambomingi, you are straight with Him, you tell Him. Maybe you are planning to go and do it after this. Or that is where you have been, that rat hole, for this whole week. But in the name of Jesus, he has brought his word. One more time. We have to be a generation that is very truthful with ourselves. You know where it presses hard. And I'm grateful that Joshua used that verse, that my grace is sufficient in weakness. My strength is made perfect. I know he is not the only one, but at least he had the courage to come. And to even say that I'm in this deep hole and beyond that I will give my life to Jesus Christ. You are there and your knees have refused to function. You cannot even get up of your, uh, out of your seat. Your hand can work. Lift it up if you need to be prayed with. If you need someone to pray with you because your heart has been in a very dark place and your thoughts are running crazy and you don't know. Intercessors amplify this prayer. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes, it is when we are weak that he is strong. His strength is made perfect in our weakness. But you have to say it. You have to declare it before him. That Lord, I am weak right now. Without you, I cannot. And 
Father, this morning, Anthony has desired that we pray with him for the places that he has been. His heart is in turmoil. His mind does not rest. But there is rest to be found in you, my King. And so, Father, this morning, we lift up the name of Anthony before you. Oh, we cry with him that you, O oh King, would hear him that you would answer even his call this morning. That my father, you would activate the angels that were created to minister to him. For they are ministering spirits by you. Now in the mighty name of Jesus, may his burden be lifted up. Thank you, Jesus. of Jesus. Contend for his peace because the word of God says that we should not be anxious but in everything through prayer and supplication we thanksgiving to make our requests known to God. Declare that he walks in the peace, the perfect peace of God. That he receives the perfect peace of God. That we silence every noise from the very pits of hell and we pray that he would be perfected in peace. Pray for him. Men, pray for your fellow brother. Pray for your brother. Quit ye like men. Be strong. Lift up the name of God for him. For this our friend, he was lost but now is found. Lord, we thank you. We bless your name for our friend and brother Anthony. We thank you because you called. You left many and you came just for him. If a service had to be done for one man, you did it today. If a someone was just for one man, here he is, O King. Because you left your seat, you left the 99 and you came to search just for him. Blessed be your name because you have found him. And blessed be your name because now his life is hid in you. Thank you, Jesus. We guard him with the blood of Jesus now applied upon his life. We hedge him in with the fire that issues out of your throne. That this one, oh God, is a flame of fire. For you make your angels spirits and your ministers flames of fire. This one that has received you, make a flame of fire. Let him vex darkness that has vexed him. Because now he stands for you. Let him go and call sinners unto you. Because you called him unto yourself by the sound of a man who was a sinner. We bless you king. We honor you. Father as you rejoice, may your angels rejoice with you. And may we join in the heavenly chorus because now, Father, you rejoice because this one that was lost is now found. What amazing grace. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And the church said, Amen. celebrate King Jesus. Woo! Bless the Lord.
This is our friend, his name is Anthony. Anthony, welcome to kingdom. Welcome to kingdom. Go with these brothers, they will take care of you. Hallelujah. Rejoice as the Father rejoices over him. The Bible says there is great rejoicing before the angels when one gives his life to Jesus. Amen. So now the Father is rejoicing because one has come back. Stand up on your feet, bring your offertory quickly, quickly. Yes, as we continue to sing that song and cry out that cry of our hearts. Hallelujah. you have declared you will never gather your people in vain and here in our very eyes we have seen you move in our hearts we have felt you move and we acknowledge that indeed you are God thank you for these gifts that have come out of the bounty of your people bless them as you bless these gifts bless us as a church give us capacity to take the gospel out there that more and more people may come to the kingdom. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for every program that we plan to run this week, beginning with Bible study and every other one of the programs. Lord, we pray that we will find you there. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Turn to somebody, let us share the words of the grace now. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Remain standing so that as we recess, please use the side doors so that the next service can quickly come in. Amen. Amen. See where. 